video here we um, got Saxony then we fended off an Austrian army right there and um, off screen I did this see these little plus marks by all of my soldiers that means that they're sort of like being replenished so I'm gonna go fight Frederick Tralba because he's gonna attack my farm see what happens there he runs away like a coward. And we'll just see what happens with that. Gonna have to replenish more soldiers now. But oh well. I did that for some of them in Saxony, but I didn't have enough money for all of them. <clears throat> so, next to do is, well, decide whether to attack Vienna or Pressburg, which is actually just Bratislava, actually Budapest, which is right there, um, not even existing yet, which is highly inaccurate. And one thing I did not like about the game is that there's no independent Slovakia region, but I guess it is historically accurate that it was just Hungary for the longest time wasn't even considered to be separate. There were Slovak people, but it's like you didn't even think of them to have their own national identity. So, yeah, they're like the Basques in Spain. So, um, let's see here. We got Saxony, Prague, Saxony, Bohemia, or I should say Dresden, Prague, to keep cities and uh, regions separate, distinctify both of them by one or the other, not a mix. Um, and right now, I'm just trying to finish up Austria so I can move on to the Ottomans. Um, there's... Um, High possibility that Bavaria will take the Rhineland, which is good for me because I don't want to have to go after Prussia myself. <coughs> and as soon as they're gone, you'll start seeing that I will be getting many, many bishops. Maybe not a whole lot. And also, I'll be completely focused on Austria. I'll pull out of Saxony just redirect all my might girth at Croatia, Vienna, Croatia, Austria, Hungary, Transylvania. Or, ooh, they want a peace treaty. Well, too bad. Everybody else is at war with them. I'm not going to make peace just to make them look good. Gentlemen, where? In Poland. All right, sir. Go to Kamienicz. When is the next Lithuanian town going to be built? Brest is coming out soon. So I can upgrade all my farmlands now. I'll do that for this one. And as you can see, the replenishing process is very slow. I forgot about that. Media 
Joker General here. Oh shit. Well, I lost there. I take my forces out of Prague. I can. Can I win? Hopefully. Nope, not a chance. Okay, we're gonna run. Sorry guys, they didn't work out too well. They did. Let's do this. Replenish all you guys. I actually don't know much about the replenishing thing. I never really did it much. So pardon me while I make mistakes. Let's recruit. Oh, what's gonna go on today? Will Bavaria take over the Rhineland, which is currently occupied by Prussia? Prussia really moved far. Like, that happened to Austria once, but never to Prussia. Um, what I mean is, like, when they get kicked so hard that they just... They're completely relocated from where they are. Like, that happened to one of my campaigns with um, Venice. They declared war on Denmark for being my ally. And then they took over Iceland. And I never really bothered with Iceland, so... Um, Let's just say that was the last territory in Europe I got. United Kingdom fell before Venice. Um, we've got Russia doing that. And um, I'm a little bit worried about the Austria situation now because, well, it's not looking as well as it did before. Why is my phone ringing? I'm gonna have to leave in a little bit. I'm in my underwear. Just thought I'd let you know. Bavaria, what are you gonna do? Oh no. Okay, maybe not. There you go. Good boys. Russia's done. See, look at that. You go hot out there. You break in training whose name I don't know yet. Augustin Brander. Very German last name. I'm going to start taxing the Saxons again. I'm also going to destroy this theater. Build a church school.
screw blue lines there, my infantry there, and with the um, entertainment culture facilities destroyed, which is going to take a big beating, um, maybe not, we will build a church school right there in Leipzig. Convert the populace to Catholicism even faster. Should do that in Olmutz too, but I'm gonna hold off. Silesius Protestant, Bohemia is Protestant. I don't know why. I didn't think they ever really were, but you know, whatever Creative Assembly wants to do with that, they can. I don't really care. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy the body house. Gotta make Catholicism rise quickly, huh? Let's see what the rate is in East Prussia now. And 3% a turn will be the deciding factor. And I'm being summoned to B-dubs. Gonna eat some chicken wings. Assassinate General Guido. His first name is Guido. Oh my god. Okay, so with that, I will quit playing. I'm gonna go. I'll be back later, make another Let's Play, upload some Let's Plays. I'm sorry, I've fallen behind a little. And with that, have a great day, guys. This is Pelopor.